Hi everyone, it's Bonita from Pennies to Dollars. And today I thought we would talk about how marketing and convenience steals our dollars. So many times we think we need something for convenience or everybody else is buying it to the point that it just becomes normal. And then we start using these things and we don't realize how it is stealing our dollars. Let me give you a good example. How many people have one of these? And no, I did not buy this. <laughs> when we bought our business, somebody left this there. And so this is one way that convenience is stealing our dollars because what the heck is wrong with this? This is what I have in my house. Doesn't cost me a thing to put this on, take it off, put it in the washing machine when I'm done, wash it, and boom, I have a new one, and I just wash it, put it back on here, and it's ready to go the next time I need it. And I don't have to buy these every time I'm getting low, because this is, again, something that's become normal. Let me tell you this quote that I came across. He who buys things that he doesn't need steals from himself. Isn't that profound? But that is exactly what is happening to us nowadays. It used to be the common TV dinner back when I was growing up. You would buy these cheap TV dinners and you would quickly stick them in the oven for 30 minutes with this foil on top to have a dinner ready later for yourself. And it was called convenience. And now it has just progressed and progressed till these things have become normal for us. Think about a cut up chicken. My mom always bought her chickens whole. And I was just amazed how I would stand there and watch her quickly cut up a chicken within just a few minutes. And then she always ate the neck. Who even knows what a neck of a chicken looks like nowadays? You don't because people buy cut up chickens. They buy the choice pieces that they want and no one is left with the back or the different parts of the chicken that I grew up with because we don't cut up our own chickens and then they just sell the good parts. Other things like push mowers. People all have riders nowadays. Who has push mowers? I still have a push mower. My yard doesn't really work with a riding mower, but a push mower versus how much those riding mowers cost nowadays. And they've gotten so fancy. They can just spin on a dime and take off really fast and do yards in no time that have a bunch of acreage. But I live on a farm, so I only need to do a little bit in the front, everything in the back, I don't care if it grows up. No one is going to see it. I have animals back there. It doesn't matter. We also took care of our things better back then. And we knew where those things were. And we did that because it wasn't as easy just to run out and repurchase those items or look for those items again. We, would, we knew where we kept them. We took care of them because we knew it cost money to go buy them again. My dad did not ever have a credit card. How many of us can function nowadays without a credit card? And yes, things cost a lot more. But when I was growing up, everyone had credit cards. But my dad still refused to get a credit card. He was not going to get himself caught up in debt that he couldn't pay or have debt on his books that he had to try to figure out how to pay. And now we just think it's normal to have debt and to have a lot of debt. And some people have thousands and thousands of dollars worth of debt because it's so easy just to go out and buy another this or another that with our charge card if we can't find the one that we have, which is why decluttering is so important. So many things are purchased and repurchased and we end up having two or three or four of them and then we're trying to sell them or figure out what to do with them or donate them because we just quickly and easily went and purchased another one.
Another way that I have found that we have saved money is through the Keurig. And I talked about this in one other video. There are refillable pods, which I have on my website, which is linked below. And you can refill those pods instead of buying the pods that are so expensive. And if you want to save money, buy a stronger coffee and fill it three-fourths full. <laughs> Why didn't we all think of this? We get so caught up in, I only drink this coffee, or I only drink this type of coffee. Buy a little cheaper coffee and use a stronger coffee and just use a little less. You will get used to it just the way you got used to this coffee. Another thing is we do not need all of these storage units. We have so many storage units that have taken up ground in the United States because people will box things up and go to move and then they won't have room for these items and they stick them in a storage unit and then they pay this monthly fee month after month for the storage unit and they don't even remember what's in those boxes or the things in that storage unit don't even equal how much money they've paid on the storage unit over time. So I encourage you, if you are going to move Think carefully about what you want to take with you. Think carefully about what is left in those boxes and whether or not it's really even worth it to store those items. I have a friend that just recently decided to move to another state and I asked her if she was packed yet. And she said, yes, because we never really unpacked a bunch of the boxes from before when we moved here. And they had been here a year or two and had never unpacked these boxes. This happens to a lot of us. This is not a rare event. There are many times that we have moved and not unpacked boxes. So I ask you, is it really worth it to put those boxes in a storage unit and pay a monthly fee? These are just little ways to save money. You always hear use it or lose it. Well, I encourage you, use it or freeze it when it comes to food. Another little way to save money. If you see something is going out of date in your fridge or if you see something is getting ready to go bad, throw it in the freezer, chop it up and bag it, find a way to save that product so that you can save money later. Your future self will thank you for this. Every time I pull out my frozen onions and my frozen peppers, I'm so thankful that I did this. It has been, it has been such a blessing to be able to make breakfast in the morning and not have to recut up these items or I can incorporate them into so many more meals because I don't have to take the time to re-chop them up. So I want you to repeat after me. I have enough. <laughs> I don't need to go buy anything else. I don't need to buy all these newfangled, easy, quick fixes. I can use some of these old fashioned items and I can save a bunch of money. So I hope this is helpful to you. If it is, please press the like and I hope to see you in the next video.